fit toys like we all ended up out here because something happened there and we didn't want to be there anymore so we ran away to here been through a little bit i always love i don't know movies i i always said i'm going to become an actor at some point action One of the hardest parts of the day is that I have to wear all black all the time. And it hurts me because I'm very much not an all black wearing person. I went to town, bought a pack of cigarettes, and then I went down to the beach and sat at the top of those wooden stairs and like was like chain smoking cigarettes. But I was only smoking like half of them because I just like lighting them and I wasn't even like really inhaling them. And then this kid drove by and was like, do you wanna to go to a fire? And I was like, sure. And then I got in the car with him and then I met a very good friend of mine at this fire. And then that's how my summer started. go where the money is and look at I usually ask my new uh, friends about the uh, her or his country and I'm curious man I need to talk every day it's mean I need to new friends This is probably from the Civil War. That is probably, you know, several families from the island here had members that were fought in the Civil War. And one of them probably brought back the sword. And eventually, I think uh, some family member, a kid, probably was playing with the sword and left it laying on the side of the road up against the stone wall on West Side Road. That's where I found that buried. It was, you know, completely under, it had been there for probably a, a very long time, maybe close to 100 years.
from what the guy told me, uh, he came out here from Massachusetts and he's had it since he was 18. Paid like $3,500 for it and probably about 10 grand into it, but that's it since he's had it. Normally it deals fine when it lays down on its side, but I guess in the low tide it must have tipped a little too far and that's all she wrote. Damn. Looks like he's having about as good a time as I am out here. Oh. 